Puppeteer, the program where you learn how to build robots like these from your comfy chairs. In this program, you're going to learn the first steps to use vector in the best way possible. So we're going to learn how to set up your local computers to start programming with vector. Because here we love robots, what better way of doing it than leaving all this program for Vector. So I'll be his assistant. So all yours, Vector. Thanks, Mike. Hi, Internet humans. So to set up your local computer to be able to execute programs in myself, you will need to follow these three simple steps. Step one. Create the virtual environment. We will first create the folder where to store all the vector code you do from now on. To create the virtual environment, you execute these commands. They will create an environment where the Python version used is 3.6 because that's the one I like. Step 2. You have to install my SVK. This depends on the operating system that you use. These are the commands for Ubuntu 16. But in the video description I will leave a link to all the other installation options. The most important step here is retrieving your own vector name, IP and IP. This is done by double click my backpack. Here you will get my name. Then, move my arms up and down to get my IP and my ID or N. Once you have them, you will have to introduce them when asked in the NP underscore vector configure script. Also, don't forget to install the 3D viewer if you want to execute some of the tutorials. Just execute these commands. Before executing any Python code, you have to set the Python path to get the OpenCV Python version for Python 3.6. This is critical especially if you have ROS installed, because it generated a lot of problems if not. Basically it won't find the CV2 Python method. Let's execute Hello World. today. On the next video we will install and execute the ROS package designed to integrate my systems with ROS.
This was created by Betabot. Very, very nice guy. Don't forget to subscribe. It will be fun. Until then.